Hey, how's it going out there in YouTube land? Um, this is Christopher. I'm going to, I've been asked to do a, um, to uh, make a uh, Christmas present for a friend. Um, to make a birdhouse uh, for a horse stable theme. Um, so I've had about a week to think about it. Um, and uh, went to Hobby Lobby and picked up some things like a uh, little miniature uh uh, haystacks, you know, there's one, and then, uh, they get, it's a little kit, and they get a little options of the roll-up haystacks, and then you picked up a couple little, uh, little, um, buckets, you know, wooden buckets, uh, trying to keep it authentic as possible, but anyways, my, I had to, uh, do a little research on the internet, and to, just to get some ideas of horse, what horse stables look like, and tried to min miniaturize that uh, into a uh, a birdhouse. <laughs> but anyways, uh, this is my idea. I'm going to um, versus some of the other birdhouses I made. Uh, they're normally about I'd say about two feet wide, and uh, and about seven inches in depth as uh, far as the uh, square footage of the birdhouse itself. So they're a little heavy because they're. they're uh, um, strong wood, uh, pallet wood. Some, some's pallet wood, some's not. Most of it's all recovered. Some of it I bought uh, here and there. So scrap, scrap wood basically. Clean this. Um, so then I came up with an ideal to, hey, why don't I just introduce, I've never seen a birdhouse with a uh, built-in uh, bird feeder, you know. Um, so I thought, hey, let's, let me do this. This will be kind of cool. Um, so I, I mocked up a little thing right here. Uh, bought a horse. Let's see if I can do this without falling it down. But anyways, I kind of just mocked it out. Um, and it's giving me an idea of basically measurements and uh, where to uh, uh, start. So I'm, you know, I'm using these, but th that will be later. But anyways... Uh, so I pretty much laid out what I kind of what I'm looking for as far as the look. Now I'm implementing how I'm going to make the you know cut the pieces and and it all uh, matters as far as steps because when you start putting this together you won't have as easy access to stuff. So including uh, ideals I also been thinking about as far as a roof, uh, shingle wood shingle styles like I usually do. But this one, I think I'm going to do something different. Uh, well, I'm going to try it and see how it looks. I'm going to make wooden shingles uh, for the roof for the main birdhouse. And then on the right-hand side is going to be the mock-up of the uh, stables. Uh, so I've got a little horse. You know, that's kind of cool. Um, it's pretty much the scale if you you were to look at it as, a, as far as a, a birdhouse versus uh, uh, that type of stuff. Anyways, um, so... I, then I had some ideals as far as what the stable itself looks like. And uh, so I, I kind of got a kit like this. So you see that, you know, the Horton, you got the pieces of wood across for the fencing to lead in. And then you got the support beams and all that. So, uh, you know, you got walls behind it and stuff. So I, I, that's what I kind of was looking at. But I'm going to merge this into the main birdhouse. So that would lead me to the next picture of this where they kind of have it's a farm house style which it looks kind of like a hexagon type shape I'm not going to do that but I'm going to keep it uh, wide and thick and straight uh, it's going to have some angles so when I merge in the roofing for this I got to figure that out I'm think I'm assuming I'm going to do this that's why I'm kind of doing it backwards usually I do the main birdhouse and if I'm going to make anything unique or uh, custom from then I from there I would I'd add on to the sides uh, just like the uh, Yankees birdhouse you'll see I do the main one and then I do the side ones but I have it at, it's at an angle so it gives you that pitch right here so it gives you that look it's really nice but I want to do something different uh, this is from a friend for a friend so um, the first thing I did is I went ahead and start cutting the framework the way I want it um, so when I have this against the main piece I cut a little door so it kind of gives you a, a, a look that uh, that's another area to get into a barn and then I did this piece so it's gonna look like this at an angle and it had a natural knot in it so I knocked off the knot 
and I'm using that as a window where I'm going to insert the horse at that uh, to where the bird feeder is and I'll explain that next so it kind of gives it that kind of cool little look and then I'll put some um, popsicle sticks and in, 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 uh, imitate the uh, the cross uh, members that you usually see that's uh, to uh, barns and stuff but anyways uh, that are, so there's that and then going back to the um, uh, to the uh, bird feeder portion, you know, I'm going to integrate it into it. I kind of, I, I mocked it up to how I'm going to put the horse and everything else. And then I went ahead and as so I kind of just traced around the area. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to indent this. I'm going to uh, um, drill some holes and I'm going to also go ahead and carve because I have, you know, my flex carving knives. And then I'll, I'll make it and I'll, uh, to where it kind of looks like a pond. But what I'm trying to create is where to put the bird feed, uh, the bird food. And then I'll drill a little hole either on both sides or at one angle. And when I carve it, I'm going to carve it in, a, in a, a, a slant or a pitch is what they call it. So where so if, there's, if it gets moisture, the ideal is to try to keep the moisture out and let it go down the hole. Um, so uh, there's my ideal. Let's see how it turns out. Uh, I'm no expert by far, but I'm doing what I can with what I have. Merry Christmas. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching.
Thank you. 